Have you ever wondered what causes disturbances in your computer network? Welcome to a journey into the invisible world of noise in computer networks. This noise, an unwanted disturbance, can interfere with data communication, degrade network performance, and increase error rates. It comes from various sources and its impact varies, depending on whether the communication is analog or digital. But don't worry, there are ways to mitigate it. In today's video, you will learn about the different types of noise that can affect your network and how to mitigate them. First, it's crucial to understand what noise in a computer network is. Noise is essentially any unwanted disturbance that hampers the smooth communication of data across the network. It's a bit like trying to have a conversation in a crowded room. All the background chatter makes it hard to hear what's being said. In a network, noise can degrade performance, compromise data integrity, and spike up error rates. This pesky interference can stem from a variety of sources and affect both analog and digital communication. Whether it's electromagnetic interference from electronic devices, radio frequency interference from radio transmitters, crosstalk from bundled wires, impulse noise from power surges, or thermal noise from the inherent workings of electronic devices, each type of noise has its unique way of disrupting network communication. Now that you know what noise is, let's delve into the different types. One of the most common types of noise is electromagnetic interference, or EMI. This form of disturbance originates from various electronic devices and systems that generate electromagnetic fields. Think about the motors whirring in your office building, the fluorescent lights above your head, or the wireless devices buzzing in your pocket. All of these are common sources of EMI. The impact of EMI on computer networks is significant. It has the potential to distort the signal being transmitted over a network, which can lead to errors and even data corruption. Imagine sending an important document only to find that the recipient received a jumbled mess. That's the kind of chaos EMI can cause. But it's not all doom and gloom. With a better understanding of EMI, we can take steps to reduce its impact on our networks. So even though EMI can be quite a nuisance, there are ways to mitigate it. Another type of noise that can affect your network is radio frequency interference, or RFI. This is a particular kind of electromagnetic interference that specifically involves radio frequencies. Picture this, you're in the middle of an important download when suddenly your Wi-Fi drops out. That could be RFI at work. The culprits? They could be as common as radio transmitters, television broadcasts, or even cellular phone signals. Now why should you be concerned about RFI? Well, just like its cousin EMI, RFI can wreak havoc on your wireless network. It can distort the signal being transmitted, leading to errors and even data corruption. Imagine sending a crucial email, only to find out it's been lost in transmission due to RFI. Frustrating, isn't it? But here's the good news. RFI can be managed. There are ways to shield and filter these unwanted frequencies, and we'll delve into those shortly. RFI can disrupt your network's smooth operation, but don't worry, solutions exist. Crosstalk is another type of noise that can cause serious problems. It's like eavesdropping in the world of network communication, where signals from one circuit or channel unintentionally interfere with another. This unwanted effect usually happens in wired networks, especially when wires are bundled together closely. Imagine being at a party where everyone's talking at the same time, and you're trying to focus on a single conversation. That's what crosstalk feels like for your data. The impact? Well, crosstalk can lead to the mixing of signals between communication paths. This results in errors and interference, which can degrade the performance of the network and reduce data integrity. It's like receiving a text message that's a jumbled mixture of several conversations. Not quite what you were expecting, right? Crosstalk can be a bit tricky to manage, but there are ways to mitigate it. We'll explore those techniques in our upcoming scenes. So, stay tuned! Impulse noise and thermal noise are two other types of noise that can affect your network. Impulse noise is a non-continuous, sudden disturbance that can be caused by electrical spikes and power surges. This type of noise can be particularly disruptive to digital communications, as it may result in lost or corrupted data packets. On the other hand, thermal noise, also known as Johnson-Nyquist noise, is an inherent issue in all electronic devices. It occurs due to the agitation of electrons within a conductor because of temperature. This type of noise presents a fundamental limit to the minimum signal level for effective communication in network hardware. So, while impulse noise bursts onto the scene, 
causing immediate and noticeable effects. Thermal noise is a constant companion, subtly influencing the signal quality. Impulse and thermal noise can be disruptive, but there are strategies to handle them. Now that you know the types of noise, let's explore some ways to mitigate them, starting with shielding and filtering. Shielding involves using specially designed cables, such as coaxial or shielded twisted pair cables. These cables are engineered to guard network signals from external electromagnetic interferences, keeping your data transmissions clear and uninterrupted. On the other hand, filtering is a technique used to block unwanted frequencies from entering your network system. Think of it as a bouncer at a nightclub, only allowing the right signals to get in. Filters can be built into hardware or implemented at the software level, depending on the specific needs of the network. By combining shielding and filtering, networks can effectively reduce the impact of both electromagnetic interference and radio frequency interference. These techniques can significantly improve the integrity of data transmission, ensuring that your network performs optimally. Shielding and filtering can be quite effective, but there are more methods to explore. Twisted pair cables and fiber optic cables are two other effective methods to mitigate noise. Twisted pair cables are a clever bit of design. By twisting the wires within the cable together, any electromagnetic interference that hits the cable is likely to affect both wires equally. But here's the twist. It affects them in opposite ways, effectively cancelling out the noise. This simple but ingenious solution significantly reduces crosstalk and other forms of interference. Then we have the fiber optic cables. These are a bit more high tech. Fiber optic technology uses pulses of light to transmit data. Light, as you might guess, is immune to electromagnetic interference. This makes fiber optic cables ideal in environments with high levels of electromagnetic or radio frequency interference. They can provide a clear, noise-free communication path, even in the most challenging of conditions. These cables can be a great help, but there's more to learn. Error detection and correction techniques are also crucial in managing noise. In the world of computer networks, these techniques act as the gatekeepers, ensuring that the data we receive is as accurate as possible, despite the inevitable presence of noise. One common method is the parity check, which involves adding an extra bit to the data to make the total number of ones either always odd for odd parity or always even for even parity. This allows the receiving end to identify when an error has occurred during transmission. Cyclic redundancy checks, or CRCs, are another popular method. This technique involves creating a binary divisor with which the data is divided. The remainder of this division is then sent along with the data. If the recipient gets a different remainder after performing the same division, it knows an error has occurred. Lastly, we have forward error correction, or FEEC. This technique allows the receiver to not only detect, but also correct errors without needing a retransmission. These techniques can significantly improve your network's reliability. Proper network design and regular maintenance are the final keys to managing noise in your network. When it comes to designing a network, the placement and routing of cables is crucial. For instance, avoid bundling network cables with power cables to reduce electromagnetic interference. Similarly, keeping network components away from devices that might emit strong electromagnetic fields, like motors or fluorescent lights, can also help in minimizing noise. But design is just the beginning, regular maintenance is equally important. This involves periodically checking the network hardware and cables for any signs of damage or wear and tear. Damaged cables can become a source of noise, degrading the network's performance. So it's important to replace them as soon as possible. Software updates too play a significant role in maintenance. Network devices firmware should be kept up to date to ensure they can effectively handle noise and other potential issues. Regularly updating your network software can improve its performance and reliability, and can even add new features or capabilities. Lastly, network monitoring tools can be incredibly useful. These tools can help you keep an eye on your network's performance, identify potential issues before they become serious problems, and help you understand where noise might be coming from. Remember, a well-designed and maintained network can save you a lot of trouble in the long run.